the recent market crash and everybody panicking all over the world, the news insinuating that the world is coming to an end, the markets have been hectic. And the question becomes, does this provide us as investors an opportunity to make some money? That's what I wanna talk about with you guys on today's video. What is going on guys, it's Patrick. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, what we do is we talk about how to make money, how to make it from home, and how to make smart financial decisions. By the way, one of the things we do around here is we have a ticket to admission, and your ticket to admission today is by smashing that like button. So be sure to hit it, and of course subscribe if you haven't already to get notified of upcoming videos and tips and tricks about investing. So, today's video is top stock picks. What are those companies that can give us an opportunity to get a heavier return than we would have normally in the markets right now? Now, first things first, you must have a long term mindset to invest in what I'm about to talk about today. And by the way, I am by no means a financial advisor and these are all my opinions and these are just opinions of stocks that I've been looking at and you can too. So feel free to go do your own research and decide if you like any of these companies. Now before I explain the top five that I wanna show you today, what you have to understand is that these aren't technically a top five. By top five, I don't mean these are the best. All I mean is that these are top tier investment opportunities with great companies that have amazing balance sheets that have the assets and ability and arsenal to weather the current storm and whatever entails in the future whether that is a recession depression we don't care these companies have the money to make things happen in the downtime so let's start the list with the first company which has been directly impacted by this overall market shift for obvious reasons Chevron now the reason I like Chevron is first things first they want to protect the dividend. And that is a big thing for investors when looking at opportunities for protection of capital. I like that their expenditures have not been rising, but have actually been flatlined over the last four years. And I especially like, of course, the price. And if you can get Chevron in its current range, I think it is a fantastic opportunity for you. The second company that I want to bring to your attention that I think also has an amazing balance sheet and is equipped to weather the storm is Microsoft. Now Microsoft did take an initial hit that was quite impactful in terms of what this has been trading at, which provided me obviously an idea that, hey, when others are fearful, it's time to be greedy. It's a fantastic opportunity to look into. And I project that they will be doing even better with new innovation that is coming from this and things that they can do better to get through things like this. Again, I like Microsoft. Go check it out for yourself. All right, the third company on my list, again, no specific order, is AT&T. Now, obviously, cell service is a big deal right now inside of what we have with this pandemic. The reason being is, of course, we can't go outside, we can't talk to each other, so we do it via cell phone. We do it via FaceTime, via phone call, via text. I like their dividend outlook. I like that their recent acquisition at Time Warner has enabled them to continue to follow up with their projections. They've been holding those levels really well. I like where they're priced at. Via price to earnings ratio, I think we'll historically get to that ratio and match it. I think we're undervalued right now, and you guys have a fantastic opportunity to get involved. Now, if I was being biased towards any of these, I think this is my bias. I like Disney. I really like Disney. They are suited well, they are equipped well. Obviously, closing parks is a massive hit and will be a massive hit for months and quarters to come. I like Disney. I like them anything under 90 a share. And right now with current prices, you have a great opportunity to get involved in Disney and a long-term, long growth, healthy, stable company that is equipped to weather the storm. Now, last but not least, Coca-Cola, another company that is essential, if you will, to these times. People are not gonna stop drinking their favorite soda just because the economy is collapsing. It's just the reality of it. I like Coke, I am a consumer, and that leads me to my final note, be a consumer. Okay, I might not use AT&T in regard to the exact service, but I use cell service. I believe in those companies, okay? I drink Coca-Cola from time to time, not a lot, don't drink pop, guys. I have experience in the oil industry. I like what Chevron stands for in terms of their product placement. I think that they have the best marketing in any of the industry. And finally, of course, Microsoft. As a trader, as a person that is on the computer all times, I love Microsoft products. Of course, I have Apple, I have the whole nine yards. I have every brand of product that you can imagine from a technology standpoint. 
but I still use it. I'm still a user, and you guys need to understand, you need to be a user of these companies. So go check them out, go do your research, go take a look of where they are in comparison to where they are in this video, in comparison to where they are when you're watching this, see what it's like, see if it's lower, see if it's higher, see if you think you should make an investment in it, and hopefully this helps. So if it did help, guys, just click that like button. That's all I ask of you. And I will see you guys, of course, on the next video. Click the subscribe button, guys. Peace.